Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today deputized His Majesty the King's personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to attend the reception held in honor of the heads of the kingdom's diplomatic missions abroad and senior foreign ministries officials, marking the Bahrain Diplomatic Day celebrated every January 14th. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Royal Court Minister Sheikh. Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, an advisor to His Majesty the King for Diplomatic Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Muhammad, attended the ceremony held at the Qadaybiya Palace. Some Holy Quran verses were recited, and then His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad delivered a speech on behalf of His Majesty the King. سمو الشيخ عبد الله بن حمد ال خليفه الممثل الشخصي لجلاله الملك المعظم اصحاب السمو اصحاب المعالي والسعاده ايها الحضور الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمه الله تعالى وبركاته يسعدنا ان نرحب بكم اجمل ترحيب في هذا الاحتفال الذي يقام بمناسبه يوم الدبلوماسيه البحرينيه وخير ما نبدأ به تلاوة عطرة من القرآن الكريم يتلوها على مسامعنا القارئ علي صلاح عمر أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أطيعوا الله وأطيعوا الرسول فإن تولوا فإنما عليه ما حمل وعليكم ما حملتم وإن تطيعوه تهتدوا وما على الرسول إلا البلاغ المبين وعد الله الذين آمنوا منكم وعملوا الصالحات ليستخلفنهم في الأرض كما استخلف الذين من قبلهم وليمكنن لهم دينهم الذي ارتضى لهم وليبدلنهم من بعد خوفهم أمنا يعبدونني لا يشركون بي شيئا ومن كفر بعد ذلك فأولئك هم الفاسقون وأقيموا الصلاة وآتوا الزكاة وأطيعوا الرسول وأطيعوا الرسول لعلكم ترحمون صدق الله العظيم كلمة سيري حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المعظم حفظه الله ورعاه يلقيها سمو الشيخ عبد الله بن حمد آل خليفة الممثل الشخصي لجلالة الملك المعظم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أصحاب السمو والمعالي أصحاب المعالي والسعادة السفراء السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يسعدنا أن نلتقي بكم جميعا اليوم بمناسبة حلول اليوم الدبلوماسي لمملكة البحرين 
هذا اليوم الذي خصصناه تقديرا للدور البارز الذي تقوم به كوادرنا الدبلوماسيه في تعزيز علاقات الصداقه ومد جسور التعاون بين مملكه البحرين وكافه الدول في مختلف ارجاء العالم. استنادا الى المبادئ الاصيله والقيم الراسخه لوطننا وشعبنا والتي تقوم على التسامح والتعايش والحوار المتبادل وتكريس السلام والوئام والتعاون بين شعوب العالم مرحبين باصحاب السعاده سفراء الدول المعتمدين لدى المملكه ومعربين عن تقديرنا لجهودهم في تعزيز وتنميه علاقات الصداقه والتعاون بين مملكه البحرين وبلدانهم الشقيقه والصديقه الاخوه والاخوات لقد انتهجت الدبلوماسيه البحرينيه عبر مسيرتها الوطنيه التي انطلقت قبل اكثر من خمسه عقود نموذجا خاصا متفردا عبر الانفتاح على العالم ومد يد الصداقه مع الجميع والسعي الدؤوب الى بناء العلاقات وتبادل المصالح والتواصل الحضاري مع العالم بمختلف اقطاره وثقافاته وحضاراته فتمكنت بفضل من الله عز وجل أن تسجل العديد من مراتب التفوق والنجاح التي عكست سياسة مملكة البحرين الخارجية المعتدلة والمتزنة وعبرت عن أصالة بلدنا وشعبها الطيب الذي يتمنى الخير والأمن والسلام والاستقرار والنماء للبشرية جمعا ويسرنا في هذا اليوم أن نعرب عن خالص الاعتزاز بما يبذله من يمثل الدبلوماسية البحرينية من جهود مثمرة وعطاء متواصل داخل الوطن وخارجه وما يتحلون به من قيم راسخة وثقافة عالية وخلاص في البذل والعطاء خدمة لوطنها وتحقيق مصالح العليا والدفاع عن مواقفه وأبراز إنجازات مسيرة التنموية الشاملة مؤكدين أن مملكة البحرين سوف تواصل من خلال سياستها الخارجية الطموحة القيام بدورها الفاعل في المجتمع الدولي لدعم أهداف التنمية المستدامة وتعزيز وحماية حقوق الإنسان وحرياته وإرساء السلام والاستقرار العالمي والدعوة إلى تسوية النزاعات بالطرق الدبلوماسية واحترام الغوانين والعراف والمواثيق الدولية وفي الختام نسأل المولى العلي الغدير أن يوفق الجميع لأداء مهامهم وواجباتهم الوطنية بكل كفاءة واقتدار كما تعودنا منهم تحقيقا لما تصب إلي بلادنا من تقدم ورقي وازدهار ومكانة رفيعة بين الأمم وتعزيز دورها العالمي في نشر قيم السلام والوئام والحوار المشترك وكل ما في خير وصالح شعوب العالم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله يلقي الآن سعادة الدكتور عبد اللطيف بن راشد الزياني وزير الخارجية كلمة بهذه المناسبة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Then Foreign Minister Dr. Ablatif bin Rashid Zayani delivered a statement in which he extended on behalf of all the ministry's affiliates sincere thanks and gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad for his unwavering support and care for the Foreign Ministry and its diplomats. He also praised His Majesty the King's constant sound directives to enhance Bahrain's foreign policy and develop diplomatic work to achieve the Royal Noble National Goals of extending bridges of cooperation with all countries protecting the interests of the nation and its citizens locally and abroad, promoting the values of peace, tolerance and coexistence among peoples of the world, protect human rights, liberties and dignity, as well as enhancing the kingdom's status globally. The minister also expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad for attending the reception on behalf of His Majesty the King. He asserted that the Bahrain Diplomatic Day was devoted by His Majesty the King to celebrating and the dedicated efforts of the kingdom diplomatic community and their effective role in implementing the country's foreign policy. He affirmed that the constant care of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for Bahraini diplomats, is a source of pride for all.
بمملكة البحرين والارتقاء بالعمل الدبلوماسي لتحقيق الأهداف الوطنية النبيلة التي يسعى جلالته إلى تحقيقها في مد جسور التعاون مع جميع دول العالم وحماية مصالح الوطن ومواطنيه في الداخل والخارج ونشر قيم السلام والتسامح والتعايش بين شعوب العالم وحماية حقوق الإنسان وحرياته وكرامته وتعزيز مكانة المملكة بين دول العالم ويسرني أن أتقدم إلى سمومكم الكريم بوافر الشكر والتقدير على استقبالكم اليوم نيابة عن جلالة الملك المعظم أصحاب المعالي والسعادة رؤساء البعثات الدبلوماسية في الخارج في يوم الدبلوماسية البحرينية الذي خصصه جلالة هيده الله للاحتفاء بالأسرة الدبلوماسية وعطائها السخي تقديرا من جلالته للدبلوماسية ودورها الفاعل في تنفيذ السياسة الخارجية للمملكة ودعما منه لأبنائه الدبلوماسيين والدبلوماسيات وما يقومون به من جهود وطنية مخلصة في سبيل رفعة الوطن الغالي وتقدمه وازدهاره وأنه لفخر كبير للدبلوماسية البحرينية أن تلقى هذا الدعم المتواصل والرعاية السامية من لدن جلالة الملك المعظم حفظه الله ورعاه ومن صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله بما نلمسه من سموه من حرص واهتمام بتعزيز العلاقات الدبلوماسية وتنمية التعاون الثنائي بين مملكة البحرين ومختلف دول العالم ونحن في وزارة الخارجية فخورون أيضا بأننا سوف نحتفل غدا برعاية كريمة مقدرة من صاحب السمو الملكي ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء وبحضور سمو الشيخ محمد بن مبارك آل خليفة الممثل الخاص لجلالة الملك المعظم بتخريج كوكبة من الدبلوماسيين البحرينيين ممن اجتازوا بنجاح الدورة الدبلوماسية التأسيسية من أكاديمية محمد بن مبارك آل خليفة للدراسات الدبلوماسية معربين عن بالغ الاعتزاز بالدور البارز والجهود المخلصة التي بذلها سموه في قيادة سفينة الدبلوماسية البحرينية بجهد وطني مخلص وكفاءة عالية واقتدار واقتدار رفيع في ظل ظروف إقليمية ودولية صعبة وتحديات جسيمة من أجل تأكيد سيادة واستقلال مملكة البحرين ومكانتها الدولية الرفيعة بين دول العالم فلسموه منا كل الشكر والثناء والتقدير والشكر واجب لمعالي الأخ الشيخ خالد بن أحمد بن محمد آل خليفة مستشار جلالة الملك للشؤون الدبلوماسية على الجهود الموفقة التي بذلها معاليه بكل أخلاص وجدارة وأداء مميز خلال توليه منصب وزير الخارجية ودوره البارز في توثيق علاقات الصداقة والتعاون الثنائي بين مملكة البحرين والعديد من دول العالم أننا في وزارة الخارجية ماضون بعون الله ورعايته في تنفيذ التوجيهات السامية والرؤية الثاقبة لجلالة الملك المعظم حفظه الله ورعاه مستهدين بنهجه السامي نهج الاعتدال والاتزان والمرونة لبناء علاقات وثيقة ومتميزة مع دول العالم تقوم على الاحترام المتبادل والتفاهم المشترك والحوار البناء وتكريس قيم التسامح والتعايش والتفاعل مع مختلف الحضارات والثقافات حريصين على تعزيز وحماية حقوق الإنسان وحرياته وكرامته وترسيخ دعائم الأخوة والتضامن والتكاتف مع دول مجلس التعاون والدول العربية والإسلامية الشقيقة وتوطيد التعاون الفاعل والمثمر مع المجتمع الدولي في إطار القوانين والمواثيق الدولية ومقاصد وأهداف الأمم المتحدة في الحفاظ على الأمن 
والسلم الدوليين وتحقيق التنمية المستدامة وتعزيز التعاون والتنسيق المشترك لمواجهة كافة التحديات وستظل هذه السياسة الخارجية لمملكة البحرين ثابتة وراسخة فاعلة ومؤثرة تعبر عن رؤية جلالة الملك المعظم وحكمته المعهودة وتعكس قيم مجتمعنا الأصيلة وتطلعاتنا الوطنية وإرثنا الحضاري والثقافي العريق نسأل الله العلي القدير أن يحفظ جلالة الملك المعظم ويمد في عمر جلالته لتحقيق تطلعاته السامية لنهضة هذا الوطن الغالي وتقدمه ورقيه بين دول العالم والشكر واجب لسموكم على هذا الاستقبال متمنين لسموكم دوام التوفيق والسداد والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته هدية تذكارية إلى سيد جلالة الملك المعظم حفظه الله ورعاه يتسلمها سمو الشيخ عبد الله بن حمد آل خليفة. The minister handed a commemorative gift presented by the foreign ministry to His Majesty King Hamad to His Majesty the King's personal representative is Hani Sheikh Abd Allah bin Hamad. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from the Deputy Prime Minister, head of the government team at the meetings of the Parliamentary Committee concerned with studying the government's program, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. Sheikh Khalid extended sincere congratulations to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the occasion of the anonymous approval of the Representatives Council of the government program for the years 2023 to 26. The Deputy Prime Minister expressed a pride in entrusting him with heading the government team in the meetings of the Parliamentary Committee concerned with studying the government program, stressing that the Representatives Council's unanimous approval of the government program is a historic day and it is a testament to the sincere desire to move forward in the path of progress, development and prosperity in order to achieve the goals of the Comprehensive Development March led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that the continuation of serious, sincere and tireless work Work and drawing inspiration from the approach of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, in making the love of challenge and the love of achievement a motto in the performance of tasks and responsibilities. Sheikh Khalid prayed to the Almighty God to bestow His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, with abundant health and wellness. In the presence and follow-up of Representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, Azana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and under the patronage of the First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Public Sports Authority, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Azana Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, Azana Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, crowned rider Sarhan Lanizi from Asafina stable as champion of the private stables race for the cup of his highness sheikh khalid bin hamad al khalifa for the endurance cup and rider yusuf saleh from al asayl stable for the second place and rider muhammad Ami from Mahmed al fatah stable for the third place for a distance of 120 kilometers his highness sheikh nasser bin hamad al khalifa expressed his appreciation for the support provided by his highness sheikh khalid bin hamad al khalifa to the endurance races which contributes to achieving all 
vehicles and supporting the youth and sports sectors in the kingdom, especially since the endurance races witness a wide participation from young people, indicating that His Highness' sponsorship to the race contributed to its success. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa affirmed that the wide participation in the race is an indication of the successful march of the private stables and their advanced technical levels and their high capabilities in creating the ideal atmosphere for horses in order to present the distinguished levels in the race. His Highness explained that the private stables race always shows new faces of young and junior riders who have high potential and need more experience to represent the kingdom well in foreign forms. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the support provided by companies to the championship of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the current season of endurance races, stressing that this support confirms the keenness of companies and banks to support the youth and sports sector. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated the winners, wishing them more luck. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed his great happiness that the horse salute the soldier with the victorious logo won first place in the Thunder Snow Challenge at the Dubai World Cup Carnival DWCC. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that victorious victories in horse racing confirm the great development that the team is experiencing. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the successful leadership of Dutch rider Edri Divries and coach Fauzinas and their keenness to prepare the horse in the best manner and wish the team continued success in attaining further achievements and upcoming participations. Salute the soldier was able to achieve first place in the 2000 meter race, achieving the title of the Thunder Snow Challenge with the participation of 11 horses as the soldier dominated the track despite the strong competition. Representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the players of Bahrain's national football team on the occasion of qualifying for the semi final round of the 25th Arabian Gulf Cup, which is currently being held in the Arabic city of Al Basra. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad, during a video call with the team players, expressed his great happiness with this qualification. His Highness praised the outstanding performance of the national team and wished them the best of luck to continue the campaign in defending the Gulf title. Today, but the guys and me here, and they are excited and excited. In the future, we will see this happy day after God. In the name of God. In the name of God. In the name of God. God, in the truth, the truth is a great success. And I don't want to take you from your time. Go and continue your happiness. والوعد ان شاء الله في للجوله الجايه ان شاء الله اللي هي اهم باذن الله باذن الله طويل العمر مشكور الله ان شاء الله وسوزا ويل دان كيب ات اب كيب سربرايزنج اس
قولوا لهم شباب <laughs> the chairman of the Raj Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, Zahana Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronized the competitions of the third round of the Bahrain International Horse Racing Championship in the second edition, which was held today at the club's racetrack in the Arafah area in Sakhir. Zahana Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa underscored the advanced levels that the Kingdom of Bahrain has reached in the horse racing sector due to the support and patronage of his mad seeking Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the continued was follow-up of the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Isa deputized the Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment and the REHC High Committee's Deputy Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, to crown the winners of the race that witnessed a large participation of horse owners, trainers and jockeys from various international stables as part of the 15th race of this season, which was held for the cup of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the cup of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and cups of the children of their Highnesses, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Isa highlighted the advanced levels of the participants' performance, congratulating the winners and wishing the rest of the participants better luck in the upcoming competitions. His Highness went on to praise the success achieved by the Kingdom of Bahrain in terms of hosting local and international championships thanks to its national caterers who have proven their organizational capabilities in every sporting event. His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa presented the cup of the first round to Abdullah Fawzi Nas, the cup of the second round to the winning jockey Alan Rogers and the cups of the third, sixth and eighth rounds to the winning owner Mohammed Khalid Abdul Rahim, while the chief executive office of Huntsman Corporation Taj Phil presented the the seventh round cup to the winner Jabir Ramadan. His Highness Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Mohammed bin Salman al-Khalifa received al Adiyat Cup and al Wasmiya Cup for the third round of the Bahrain International Horse Racing Championship where, the, where he received al Adiyat Cup from the CEO of the National Bank of Bahrain Group, Uthman Ahmed, the official sponsor of the fifth international round and His Highness received al Wasmiya Cup from the representative of al Salam Bank, Ali Habib Qasim, the official sponsor of the sixth international round.
Bahrain national football team qualified for the semi-final round in the Arabian Gulf Cup Gulf 25 after securing its lead in the second group after a one-all draw with Kuwait. The national team raised its tally to seven points to qualify to face the Omani team in the semi-finals next Monday, while Bahrain qualified accompanied by a Qatari team after finishing second in the group with four points after a one-all draw with the UAE to meet Iraq, the leaders of Group A in the semi-finals. Mehdi Al-Hamidan scored for Bahrain in the 26th minute, Bahrain entered its decisive match armed with a high technical and moral state after two consecutive victories, which helped the team reach the top of the standings. On the occasion of Bahrain's diplomatic day, Parliament Speaker Ahmed bin Salman al Salim expressed pride in the approach of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa in consolidating the values of peace, humanity, and moderation that are major aspects of the kingdom's foreign policy. He commended the efforts of the government led by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, in fulfilling the royal vision and aspirations pertaining the role of diplomacy and foreign policy of the kingdom by strengthening. GCC and Arab cooperation in line with the regional and international role. He affirmed the pioneering model of Bahrain's diplomacy and foreign policy and their role in building solid relations with brotherly and friendly countries and fostering cooperation across the various diplomatic fields. The speaker hailed the efforts of the diplomats and all the affiliates of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, praising their pivotal role and dedication in serving the interests of the country and the citizens abroad, as well as representing Bahrain. Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Salah al Salah expressed pride in Bahrain's adopted approach in line with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa's vision of consolidating international diplomatic relations and opening up horizons of cooperation with all countries of the world. Marking the Kingdom's Diplomatic Day, al Salah commended the efforts of the government led by His Royal Highness Crown Prince and Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa to sustain the distinguished performance of the diplomatic work of the Kingdom. Bahrain. He hailed the pivotal role of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the heads of diplomatic missions in implementing the principles of Bahrain's prudent foreign policy. As Saleh pointed out to the firm principles of the National Action Charter, which constitutes the pillars for strengthening and reinforcing foreign relations. He affirmed that Bahrain is making numerous diplomatic achievements through its strong and close relations with the international community. Following the Royal Directive of His Majesty, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Kingdom of Bahrain celebrates a diplomatic day on the 14th of January each year, marking the achievements of Bahrain's diplomacy and the dedicated efforts of Bahraini diplomats. Bahrain's Diplomatic Day is an occasion to express pride in Bahrain's honorable stances in consolidating the values of tolerance and coexistence among people, cultures and religions, settling disputes through diplomatic means and adhering to the principles of international legislation. Legitimacy. The national occasion constitutes an opportunity to mark Bahrain's honorable history in establishing international relations based on the principles of respect for the sovereignty of the states, good neighborliness, and the consolidation of regional and international security and peace as a consistent approach in its foreign policy.
Bahrain's Diplomatic Day, which falls annually on January the 14th, comes to highlight the dedicated efforts of Bahraini diplomats in supporting the kingdom to implement its foreign policy, defending its interests, and building bridges of cooperation with brotherly and friendly countries. To speak more about that, we are joined on the phone by Bahrain's permanent representative to the United Nations, Dr. Yusuf Abdelkarim Bouchiri. Hello, Dr. Yusuf. It's good to have you here with us tonight. How do you value the directives of His Majesty the King to dedicate today to Bahraini diplomacy and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs affiliates? Hello, good evening. Uh, well, uh, well, at the outset, I would like to thank you, the, the Bahrain Television, for inviting me actually to, to interact with the, this uh, uh, this a special day, actually. At the, and the, uh, the outset, I would like to extend uh, my sincere congratulations uh, and thanks, actually, to His Majesty the King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the King of the Kingdom of Bahrain, and to His uh, Royal Highness and Prime Minister uh, for this special day. Well, uh, uh, as you know, that uh, in Bahrain, the, the 14th of January has been designated by His Majesty as a special day uh, to honor the, the diplomats who constantly strive to advance the kingdom's foreign policies, values, and interests, and raise the country's global standing. Well, over the, the past 50 years, the kingdom of Bahrain has, has been working to drive forward its foreign policy and to promote the interests and the rights of its citizens. I'm proud of this policy based on balance and moderation and seeking to support the efforts of the international community to enhance international peace and security, sustainable development, address global challenges, and promote peaceful coexistence for all humanity. As you know, the, the Kingdom of Bahrain has been devoted to enhancing its position at the both regional and international levels by establishing uh, a relation and deepening its cooperation and collaboration with the countries around the world by supporting and upholding the political, civil, and social, economic, and cultural rights of its people. While Bahrain achievements uh, in areas such as expanding a national oversight and preventative mechanism and its pioneering Japanese justice and alternative sentencing law, reflecting the kingdom's commitments to one of the key pillars of its foreign policy, the promotion and protection of the human rights. As you know, uh, recently a series of extensive legal reforms has been carried out to strengthen the rule of law in the country and the way to enhance rights and freedom, covering a wide range of methods such as restorative uh, justice law for children, labor law, protection for domestic violence, and many others. Uh, additionally, Bahrain is a part to numerous international human rights conventions and engaging actively with the treaty bodies on the submission and consideration of its reports. And I'll give the, the example that the UPR, the Universal Political Review, which has been discussed and has been successfully reviewed on uh, last uh, November. Well, I cannot forget, actually, to, on this context, uh, on, in 2022, Bahrain launched the National Human Rights Action Plan, a five-year plan that underscored the, the kingdom's commitment to an advancing and protection of human rights in Bahrain and highlighting the human rights as a key pillar in Bahrain policy. The plan in, in, engaged, actually, over the 30 governmental and semi-governmental entities with the uh, active role by the civil society. Uh, well, furthermore, Bahrain has been long history with encouraging and promotion and cultural dialogue, respecting peaceful coexisting among all nations, faith, and people, while open and welcoming a society created by the people of Bahrain has been made a country stand out internationally as a global model for the tolerance and coexistence. Mm -hmm. well, Dr. Yusuf Abdul Karim Bouchiri, thank you very much for your input here tonight.
The distinguished Bahraini diplomacy spanned for more than 50 years, during which it made tangible and remarkable achievements and successes in building strong relations of friendship and cooperation with various countries of the world. Marking Bahraini Diplomatic Day, we are joined also by Bahrain's ambassador to Germany, Mr. Abdullah Abdullah Abdullah. Hello, Mr. Abdullah. Thank you for joining us. Can you tell us about the significance of today's celebration and the royal support to Bahraini diplomacy? Thank you for allowing me. In the beginning, please allow me to express my gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, King of Kingdom of Bahrain, for dedicating 14th of January to celebrate the Day of Diplomacy, Kingdom of Bahrain, and my appreciation and thanks to His Majesty and His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince and Prime Minister, for their great care. And continuous support to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and its employees to achieve the foreign policy goals of the country and to elevate its status among world nations and people and their keenness in strengthening relation of friendships and cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and all countries of the world. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs, of course, drives from the wisdom and vision of His Majesty the King to perform its duties and responsibilities to promote uh, in promoting the tolerance, coexistence, cultural exchange among all people, religions, and beliefs, and to spread the values of peace and prosperity among everyone. And can you further elaborate on the development of the diplomatic work and future? Sure. As you know, Bahraini diplomacy has been spanned over 50 years, and through its achievement in building and enhancing strong relation and cooperation with various countries of the world based on international legitimacy, it has become a prime example of successful diplomacy in defending the supreme interests of kingdom and its people and citizens and consolidating its regional and international standing. Peace is a symbol of Kingdom of Bahrain's foreign policy and diplomacy led by His Majesty the King to ensure that peace, dialogue, and promoting and protection of human rights are important pillars in all of Bahrain's international relations among different nations and civilizations and religions. Bahrain diplomacy reflects the nature of our authentic Bahraini society of coexistence and mutual respect. Thank you very much. And that was Mr. Abdullah 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 talking more on Bahrain's Diplomatic Day and its significance. Thank you very much. Oil and Environment Minister and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak bin Dana, participated in a virtual summit themed Voice of Global South Summit, hosted by India in the presence of oil and energy ministers, high profile personalities, and officials from 140 countries. Speaking at the plenary session, bin Dana asserted that under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the constant follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the Kingdom adopted many programs and initiatives to reach net zero neutrality with the aim of confronting the challenges of climate change and protecting the environment. He also emphasized the importance of developing comprehensive plans and programs for the security of energy supplies and ensuring the sustainability of their access to all countries. He added that the region needs to strengthen cooperation to make the most of the available natural resources, which will contribute to achieving the sustainable development goals for all countries, stressing that Bahrain is keen on attracting investment in oil and environmental projects that would contribute to advancing economic development. Four key concepts have qualified for the next stage of the fifth edition of the Government's Innovation Competition FICRA. Of those qualified, 12 will be selected following an assessment by a committee of specialist government officials in coordination with the concerned authorities. An intensive training course on presentation skills will be held for the individuals and groups that have qualified in cooperation with America's uh, Babson College to prepare them to present their ideas to a committee of specialists. The training 
training course will finish on the 19th of January. FICRA aims to develop government work and promote a culture of creativity and innovation in line with the Bahrain Economic Vision of 2030, which is based on sustainability, competitiveness and fairness. The competition, the competition promotes the importance of involving all public sector employees in the kingdom's continuous development. And World Rally legend Sebastian became the first driver in the history of the Deca Rally to score six consecutive stage wins after topping Saturday's penultimate fist in Saudi Arabia. The Bahrain Raid Extreme driver set a new Deca Rally record today in his uh, PRX Pro Drive Hunter. Together with co-driver Fabian Dorkin, he surpassed the previous best streak of five consecutive Dakar stage victories previously recorded by Ari Vatanen during the Paris Dakar Rally in Africa in 1989. The performance of the nine-time World Rally champion was very distinguished among the sand dunes of the MT quarter as he won incomparably in the penultimate stage of the rally, which has a distance of 154 kilometers and extends from Sheba to Al Hafouf, five minutes and 28 seconds ahead of the overall rally leader Nasser Al Hatiya. Meanwhile, Matthias Ekstrom and Emil Parkovist were third quickest for Audi.